now. I want to check in with the director of athletics for Minnesota. That is Mark Coyle. Mark, we just heard Mark Holtzman mention this is the, the first time that Minnesota is playing at Yankee Stadium, whether the current stadium or the old stadium. How much does it mean to you, to the program, to be playing at the stadium here in the Bronx uh, with a, a, a bowl title on the line? Good morning. Well, obviously, it's, it's a tremendous honor to represent the Big Ten Conference uh, and not only the University of Minnesota, but the state of Minnesota. Uh, when you think of sports icons, you think of Yankee Stadium, and the first thing that comes to mind is first class. And I know uh, myself, our president, Gable, uh, and PJ and our student athletes are incredibly humbled to have the opportunity to play a great team in Syracuse. Uh, and we look forward to a great matchup on December 29th. But we're very humbled and excited to, again, represent the Big Ten, uh, the University of Minnesota, and the state of Minnesota in such a prestigious building. Mark, how about, Mark, I, mean, how about just, I mean, we just heard Mark Holtzman talking about the, the alum in the area. How about just the initial reaction uh, from your alum and, and uh, maybe making uh, the holiday season home in New York for them as they get ready for the Bad Boy Mowers pinstripe bowl and watching their gophers? There's, there's no doubt our fans are excited. You know, we have sold out our bowl allotment. When Mark and I were talking leading up to the bowl game, we have sold out our bowl allotment the last two bowl games we played in. Uh, we have a great alumni base uh, along the East Coast, as Mark talked about, and, and our fans are excited. I give PJ a lot of credit. He has uh, <coughs> re-energized our fan base over the past several years. Uh, he's taken us to multiple go bowl games. Um, our kids are doing the right thing on the field. Uh, more importantly, they're doing the right thing off the field and uh, again there's a lot of excitement and we expect a lot of gophers to be out in new york to uh to celebrate this great opportunity opportunity all right, all right mark well you mentioned pj let's check in with your head coach right now pj fleck who uh yes has done very nicely in bowl games at minnesota three and oh in fact and heading into his fourth pj how about just the reaction from your players getting this opportunity to play a bowl game at yankee stadium First of all, I just want to say thank you uh, to the Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl, uh, Mark Holtzman, Randy Levine. Uh, just can't thank you enough for, for selecting uh, the University of Minnesota. Uh, our players are really excited. You know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. A lot of our players have never been in New York City. Um, they've never been to Times Square. They've never been uh, and, and the experience. They're about ready to, to embark on. Uh, not only that, being able to play in one of the most historic venues and one of the iconic venues with one of the most iconic organizations in all the sports. Uh, it truly is an honor. Uh, we're very grateful that we get to play an elite opponent in Syracuse. Uh, uh, congratulations to them. Congratulations to Dino as well. I've known Dino for a long time. Um, and we've actually got a chance to watch some of this film as the year has gone on based on who we've played over the years. But there's no place in the world like New York City on Christmas time. Uh, I, I can remember just growing up and watching Home Alone and Home Alone 2 and, and, <laughs> and everything that goes involved in it. Um, our players have too. And I know they're really, really excited. So we're honored. Uh, I want to thank the Big Ten and Commissioner Warren, Mark Corey, our athletic director, and our president, Joan Gable. And again, obviously the bad boy mowers bowl or uh, pinstripe bowl for, for all that you, you've done. And uh, we're honored to, to accept the selection. And congratulations to our players uh, as well, because uh, I know they're really excited. And when we told them, they were fired up. And again, like I said, not many of them have been to New York City. So this is going to be one of the most ex uh, exciting experiences they've ever had. And I can't wait to share it with them. You know, Coach, in a little bit, we're, we're going to hear about just the different activities from Mark that are, are set up for the players during the week. And, and it's really a broad and an immersive experience. What's your approach as a coach as you guys are coming here to take care of business and win a bowl game, but also you're going to have access to very unique opportunities that really only come with this particular bowl game. Well, absolutely, and that's what makes it so unique. Uh, I had an opportunity as an assistant coach to be at that bowl many years ago, and uh, it's still one of the best bowls I've ever been to uh, because of the experience. Bowl games are a reward, right, and for, for the season that you had, and it's a celebration of the time together, really one last time uh, together before a whole new team starts and everybody goes on their way and everybody moves on with the rest of their life, especially some of our seniors, which I'm sure we'll talk about here in a little bit. But it's just ironic that we're playing in this bowl. We've been, we've been studying Derek Jeter as the captain all year, right? The, 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 the show that he had. Um, and it's, you know, the Jets were just in town with the Vikings. Um, uh, you know, I need a new mower. Like, this is perfect. You know, <laughs> it, 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 it works out really well. Uh, but I know our guys are really excited, like I said. And um, it's really special. And I know Dino feels the same way. Um, but we can't wait to be there. there. 
Yeah, you mentioned your seniors, Coach, and, and you know you guys really played well down the stretch to create this opportunity, winning four of your last five games. What has stood out to you about the way you have played as a group over these last five games to punch your ticket here, and then also the contributions of the seniors as they finish up their careers in your program? Yeah, I know I already said it, but, you know, I'm so proud to coach this particular football team. You know, they've taught me so much. A lot of these guys are six-year seniors. Um, they were brought, you know, year one. They were either committed to another place. We re-offered them here, and they came along uh, sight unseen. And it's a really special, special group. Um, you know, this is an opportunity for us, um, you know, to, to win another bowl game, which is huge. But these, this team has accomplished something that's, that's really special. Uh, this is eight straight full seasons or have three straight full seasons of eight plus wins for the first time since 1903 to 1905. Uh, and that is historic for our program as we keep knocking down a lot of nevers and firsts, and there's a lot more to accomplish. And these guys are the ones doing that. Our defense, uh, you know, averaged 13.3 uh, points a game, which is the least amount of points since 1967. I mean, that's critical for us. We got guys like Mohammed Ibrahim. That's the second time being first team all Big Ten since Lawrence Veroni, Bob McNamara back in 1952-1954, Tanner Morgan, our, our quarterback for most of the year and really the majority of the time since I've been here, uh, a, a Warful a Trophy finalist. John Michael Smith is on every single award, it feels like. And then uh, for us, back-to-back -back axes uh, by beating Wisconsin uh, for the second straight year since 1993-1994. So a lot of highlights for this particular group, but those stats don't compare to what type of people they are. And uh, I'm just grateful to be their football coach. It's so fun. Um, you know, when, when your football team teaches probably you more than you're teaching them, uh, you got the right group of young men. So I'm excited to share all them with you. And I know they can't wait to be there, to be there. Well, coach, an incredible season for you and a wonderful time for your program. I know we're all looking forward uh, to seeing you at Yankee Stadium on December 29th. Going to send things over now.